All right, what is up everyone? I got my second video of the day here. I've just been completely bored here, um, basically doing nothing, and I decided, you know what, let's make another video. Now I'm gonna be talking about the RFAs and UFAs that the Flyers had coming into this off season. All right, so the Flyers have a lot of key guys here um, that they might lose in this free agency. Um, there's some guys that, you know, I've talked about this before, but I decided I wanted to make a video on it as well. Um, because it is very important for this team going into next season. Uh, so the Flyers have they have a uh, they have a pretty good bunch here. Some key guys, some guys that came in later, and things like that. So you have Nate Thompson and Derek Grant. They, those were two guys that both came in at the trade deadline. They both are UFAs after this season. Grant he makes seven hundred thousand. Nate Thompson makes a million. You also have Tyler Pitlick as well. Uh, he is one year left uh, this this season. He makes one million, and he is a UFA as well. You have Nicholas Albi Coupel, who's a, who is a re restricted free agent. Justin Braun, he's a UFA at three point eight. Robert Hag and Phil Myers, they're both RFAs, uh, and Phil Myers is the last year of his ELC. Um, and then Brian Elliott as well. You have him at two million, uh, and then you also have Nolan Patrick uh, and Oscar Lindblom as well. So again, these are all those guys. And as for Patrick and Limblom, it's probably something that's going to happen with their contracts uh, since they are injured and not playing, obviously Limblom with cancer and things like that. But I'm going to go through this list and I'm going to see what the Flyers can do and what I think that they'll do with these players. As for Nate Thompson, I don't think the Flyers are going to re-sign him. Um, I just don't really think a spot is needed for him. Um, and I don't think the Flyers are going to at least tried to even reach an agreement with him. He'll probably uh, hit the market at some point. Uh, Tyler Pitlick, I want the Flyers to re-sign Tyler Pitlick, but here's my thing, because this also ties in the end to Derek Grant. Um, Derek Grant is a center. Tyler Pitlick is a winner. Um, as I said, Pitlick makes a million. Grant, he makes 700000 Pitlick, to me, will probably want around 2 to 2.5. Um, he's going to want to pay raise. He's played very good. He came here in a trade. He had a very important third round role in the playoffs with Dallas. Very good player coming here. Not many people really knew who he was, and he was unreal with the Flyers of the season. I want them to re-sign that. I want them to re-sign him. I don't think they're going to because of cap reasons, and also because of Derek Grant being a center. He's versatile. He can play the wing. Uh, we've seen you know Grant play the wing this season. We've seen him play center. Um, and I've, I've loved Grant in the, in the few games that I saw him in. I thought he was uh, very good. But in my opinion, I would rather have another center than another winger. And he's also cheaper. So I don't think the Flyers will re-sign Pitt, like only for cap reasons. I really want them to. I think it would be good for the team. But if you're thinking business-wise, cap-wise, you have to go with Grant here. And it's also a little bit smarter as well. Um, and it makes the most sense because he is a center and it is better for them uh, in the long run. Justin Braun, he's one that I think the Flyers will try to do everything to re-sign. But there's many mixed opinions on this. He could go for a low contract under what he wants, what he has right now, which is 3.8. He could go over that, 4, 4.5. He could go to, to, you know, maybe 2 million, maybe 2.25, 2.50, something along those lines. He could take a pay cut. He could take, he could get a pay raise. I don't know what's going to happen with Braun. They're all good points. I've talked about this with Jamie Baskell, Yuri Wallach. We've all thought of every possibility that can happen, you know, with this team and what's going to happen with Justin Braun. Um, in my opinion, I think he's going to want to pay raise. Um, but again, I'm not, I'm not uh, going to rule out the, the low balling of him, of him getting a smaller turn or a smaller uh, cap, excuse me. Um, and if anything, if he wants to sign two years, you know, $2 million, I'll gladly take that for Braun. That's a very good contract. Um, I don't know if the Flyers would want to take a two-year, like, 4.5 for Braun. I don't know what, if they would want that. Um, I personally would not accept that. I think that's a little too much money for Braun. But um, then you have Robert Hag and Phil Myers, who will both get re-signed. Um, you also have Mark Freeman, who's knocking on, knocking on the door as well. He will definitely see some more time with the Flyers, and I think partially because he hasn't is because the Flyers' defense has been so good in recent seasons uh, that he hasn't really been able to come up and really do anything. And then you have Brian Elliott, who I think the Flyers will re-sign um, probably around the same thing. And if they don't, um, I think that's a mistake because Elliott has played very, very damn good this season, uh, and I definitely think he deserves another contract. I would give him the exact same thing. 
um, at one year, two million. I think that's perfect for even what he get, what he played, um, and he was just unreal uh, for the Flyers this season. But there are many questions for what's going to happen. I don't even think the Flyers are going to be looking at this yet. You still have is the season going to come back? When's the draft? All that stuff. So again, this is kind of just for like way, way, way into this into the summer and everything like that. But I just wanted to give my two cents on it because I think it's very important for next season um, and what happens because we may not see the rest of the season. So you don't know what's going to happen here. But again, the RFA UFA situation. Remember, guys, podcast articles, those links from my channel. And again, you can check out this hoodie right here from East Philly Designs. I'll put a link to that in the description. Use my code FFM93 for 10% off on anything you want on the store. So again, podcasts, articles, those links are on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.